Okay guys, it's official. Hinge actually hates my guts. Um, and I'm seriously banned for life. Hi my loves. Welcome and welcome back to Gavin with Gab. Today we're going to be doing a back to school theme. Um, and we're going to do some college freshman advice. So, let's get into it. Okay, so, I was like banned on Hinge months ago. Because I said as a little jokey joke, for legal reasons, this is a jokey joke. Um, like I said, like for the prompts, like I was like, my love language is Venmo and shit like that. Like, and then so they, and I set it all the way up to age 80, whatever the highest limit is, which the real crime should be these old ass men trying to match with a fresh 18 year old. Um, you see my age. You have children that look exactly my age. That should be the crime here. Not Gabby trying to make a profit off of the creeps and pervs. I didn't know I was violating anything. And then it would get me banned for life and all the fucking hot people are on Hinge. And this was months ago. I literally didn't give a shit. But then I was bored and I was like, oh, like, I want to try again. So I used a different phone number. And they still fucking banned me because it was my device. But it wasn't even the same device because I broke my phone. So I don't get it. How do they know? Like, I had a feeling too because, like, not even the weirdos were liking my profile. I was like, this is not a good sign. Um, and then, yeah, I got banned. So, like, I got banned a second time. And I'm very upset about it. Because I thought I outsmarted the system. And now I'm stuck. If I want to go on any dating apps. Even though I literally don't answer people. And I ignore people. And I actually make no plans with anyone on a dating app ever. I still don't have the option. Now I'm stuck being on either Tinder or Bumble. Like all the hot people are unhinged. And like I'm banned for life. And I sent like an appeal. And they like didn't even like. Ugh. They didn't even like undo the band which is why i had to do the whole like thing you know also i'm filming this in a different parking lot because they had to close up the other parking lot and i was so sad because i literally just got there and then the like i parked turned my car off and then the public safety officer like is like oh like i have to like close up a little early i was like okay even though they said they're fucking closing at nine it is 8 o'clock. Like, it is 7.58. It's not even 8 o'clock. That sounds like a me move. I close early. And it's definitely because I'm, like, the only bitch there. Like, I was the only bitch there. So they're like, oh, no one's really here. We're gonna close up early, you know? So. Yeah, now I'm in the parking lot right next door. Um. Oh, there's the ferry. Well, that's an old car. That's cool. Um, anyways, I was kind of annoyed. But, like, not, like, a visible annoying, like, uh, annoyance. Um, but just, like, a... Like, I have to move. Like, it's just such a pain to, like, move my car. Anyways. Also, I'm so incredibly sore because I went to the gym, um, on Monday and had a leg day. And then, like, I went to the gym again today, and I was, like, originally going to, like, just do weights. I ended up doing just cardio because I was, like, oh, my God, I can't fucking do weights. Like, I'll literally freak the fuck out. Like, I'll, like there's no way I can move. And there was also, like, so many teenage boys there that I was, like, I'm not going next to them. Like, they're, like, 14-year-old boys on machines. Uh-uh, not happening. The ferry looks so small from here. And there's like very few people on it. Why does that man look like a firefighter? Is he a firefighter? I think he is. That explains why he looks like a firefighter. Yeah, he's wearing like a firefighter jacket. Yeah, he's a firefighter. Oh my god, I would kill myself if I had to wear that. There are so many teenage boys here though. Like, it's making me want to throw up. Originally, I was going to pull up to this one car, and then it was all teenage boys. I literally reversed 
and back the fuck out of there. Um, but yeah, so that has been my night so far. But let's get into the actual topic. So today, um, in honor of classes for me starting next week, um, we're gonna do a little back to school theme. Okay, so I stupidly didn't open the notes up when I started recording this, but fuck it. Okay, so the first one. Don't buy any fucking textbooks until classes start. Wait until the first day of classes to even think about buying a textbook. Because, first of all, some professors say you don't even need the textbook. And then other times they'll, like, offer different, like, a link to get it for free. Because they know you're on a budget. They don't get paid more if you buy the textbook. So they're trying to help you out a lot of times. Then, if you do have to buy the textbook, before you purchase anything, look online, do some research, put some critical thinking skills. Look in Google, look on Amazon. First of all, the first thing you should do is you take the exact name and the ISBIN, I think that's what the letters are, number, whatever that number is, and search that whole title free pdf in google and there's also like a few websites too like i think it's like slug library or something or i don't know slug book something like that um but usually when you type in free pdf a lot of times it comes up or a very 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 similar version comes up um then especially if you're someone like me who even though you should read the textbook, you don't read the textbook. There's no need to spend $300 on a textbook that you're probably going to open twice. Um, then, if you can't find it for free, look on Amazon. Look on anywhere that you could buy it cheaper. Just be careful not to get scammed or anything. The only time I paid full price for anything textbook related was when it had to be a specific software because it was like an online interactive textbook but that was it and a lot of times if it's like by the same publisher then you could pay for a deal and then you only you're only paying for the software for one book for like you're only paying one price for as many books it's nice when all the professors are using the same fucking software the annoying thing is when they're not that stressed me the fuck out um Then, speaking of professors, check rate my professor when you're doing your schedule. Know what to expect. Know who you have to drop if you didn't make your schedule. Because I know I didn't make my schedule the first semester of my freshman year. So if you didn't make that schedule, just know what you're up against, you know? Know what classes you have to drop, what you want to change. Um, You usually have, like, the first week to drop classes. And then after that, it counts as a withdraw no you have a week to withdraw from classes otherwise it counts as a drop and then you're still paying for it um if you're a commuter um don't put large ass breaks in the day because even though you think like oh it's gonna be fun like blah 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 like i'll get work done i'll hang out um this is all really subjective this part like for your schedules too you're gonna learn what you're comfortable with but you're especially if you don't have like friends that have the same breaks as you you're gonna be bored or you're just gonna want to go home and then you're gonna end up leaving early and skipping classes trust me i did it um you don't want long ass breaks in your day if you don't need them uh, unless you're trying to do, if you do have long ass bre- breaks, do something productive that's going to keep you at school. Like, get like a campus job or if you know you will stay at school. Otherwise, there's, I live 30 minutes away from my campus. So then sometimes I would just leave early. Like, I would go to one class at, say, it was like my 9 a.m. class. And then I would leave 
I would have a break right after that class till like 12. So then I would get out like 10.30 and I would just leave at 10.30 because I was like, I'm not staying. And um, also about classes, don't register for classes earlier than you know you can get there. So if you know you're not a morning person, don't register for 8 a.m., 9 a.m., especially if you're a commuter. And you also have to account for the travel time it takes you to get there and the parking time. So know where you're going to park. If you are on a big campus, know that, like, parking can be a bitch. I'm on a small campus, but parking's so bad. So it's like if you're not there early, you have to plan on parking far away. So then you also have to account for... Not just traveling to campus, travel for the walking time from your car to your building. Try to learn the layout too a little bit or like just get an idea. It was nice my first semester. I think I only had classes in two buildings. Same with my second semester, I believe. Yeah, my second semester only had two buildings. I think maybe I had three. I don't know. I might have just had two for both. No, it's opposite. I had two for fall semester and then three for spring semester. But by spring semester, I knew where everything was. But if your buildings are near each other, like, just find one set place and use that kind of as your guide point to other buildings. So say, oh, the library is here. If I make a left, it's the gym. If I make a right, it's the dining hall. Like, just kind of make one thing your landmark and be like, oh, how far is it from there? And then you can kind of learn what's going on. And then I learned where everything was by, I would think, like, I would say the first week or two of school. You get it down pretty easily. Um, also, for non-commuters or people with no meal plans... Bring food. Make sure you bring food. Because college food is expensive if you're paying out of pocket. And it's not that good. Like, it's not good enough to be as expensive as it is. Is that the moon reflecting on the water? It looks pretty. Sorry, got distracted. But it's really, like, sometimes I'd be so hungry one time I spent like $26 at the library little food stand. It wasn't even the like cafeteria. All because I didn't, it was cold. So I didn't want to walk from the library to the dining hall, which was all the way across campus. So then I was like, fuck it. And it's called the, like our dining hall, where it is, it's called the campus center. It's not in the center of the campus. I don't know why they fucking call it campus center if it's not in the center of the campus. It's really annoying. Um, and it was, like, I got, like, a wrap, which wasn't even that good. It was, like, grilled veggies and hummus, but, like, it tasted so bland. Then I got chips. I think I was really hungry that day, too, so I got maybe, like, a candy bar, too. And then I got, like, a soda. And that was all I got from there, and that was, like, 26 bucks. I was, like, what the um, and then, like, some days I would spend maybe, like, eight bucks on, like, a sushi roll, and it wasn't even, like, it wasn't, like, super fresh, like, it was made that day, but it was, like, ugh. So, bring food, also bring earbuds, too, because, again, especially if you have breaks, you're gonna want them while you're studying, you're gonna want them just to, like, walk around campus, you're just gonna want them, like, that's one thing, just bring them. Um, so this goes with saving money. Um, use student discounts whenever you can. They are so easy to use. There's an app called UniDays, too. U-N-I-D-A-Y-S. Um, I didn't really use it, but it has a lot of coupons and stuff for students. Um, but it is so easy to use student discounts for subscriptions and stuff because you just put in your college email 
that's literally all you have to do for like spotify hulu and amazon prime you're just using your school email that's it that's all you have to do and then you get the cheaper discount like you don't have to apply for anything they just give it to you and along with the money if it's possible work like i know you're it's a lot to juggle school and a job but even if you're just doing like a campus job get money it's just so much better you're gonna want that money this way you don't have to like bust your ass this whole summer work like a little bit so you just have some money flowing in um then also with back to the classes so first if you skip classes make sure to make up the work and make sure to check the attendance policies because i had one class for stats this isn't maybe like the best thing to do um but for my stats class it was boring as fuck it was i was an idiot when i made my schedule last semester because i made a class had a break made a class had a break and then had another class so my stats class started at 3 and ended at 4 30. i never wanted to go i went maybe like five times total and but that class he wasn't grading attendance it was great i i'm gonna be honest i cheated the whole class um there were take-home tests there was no need for me to be there i didn't show up he was like it's not gonna be a negative it's not gonna negatively impact your grade if you don't show up like you get bonus points if you do show up but i was like fuck that i'm not showing up <laughs> Like, I passed. I got a C. Overall. And that's all I gave a fuck about. It's like, I don't really care. I'll never have to take this again. That's the only thing I give a fuck about. <laughs> do your work. Do your homework. Also, know the schedules of, like, your school. Just, in a sense, my school, my advisor said that no one's really there on Fridays. Most colleges, people go out on thursdays and then no one really takes friday classes you don't want to be the one person taking a friday class and then if you're commuting it's just another day you're not going to want to go in five days a week it's a lot easier to condense your schedule um sorry i was reading my note and i was a little confused for a second um now for note taking and school supplies if it's possible if you're debating what to get like if you want to get a new laptop or something my tip get an ipad and an apple pen you don't even have to get a real apple pen you could get one from amazon for 30 bucks i literally got it and it works perfectly fine um i've had it for say six months maybe seven months and it works fine so, you don't need to spend $200 on just a pencil. Um, so, instead of getting a new computer, get an iPad. You could do more. It's a lot easier to take notes. Because it's a lot easier to, in my opinion, to write than type. Because I always have nails. But paper stresses me out sometimes. Because I have to erase and everything. And then the marks. I get annoyed. And then when the pencil like smudges, I freak out. <sighs> so, Apple Pen and ipad best combo for notes um then when you're in classes don't pee in, to raise your hand don't raise your hand to pee <laughs> do not raise your hand if you have to use the bathroom get up quietly stand up go to the door walk out the door don't disturb anyone they'll get mad at you if you fucking ask them to pee you're not in high school anymore. You can decide when to pee. It's really awkward at first. I'm going to be completely honest. It's really awkward. Like, you're not going to know, like, how to react. You're, you're going to feel really uncomfortable doing it. But you just got to. Otherwise, you're going to have to hold your pee for the 75-minute lecture. Um, at my college, there's smaller classes, too, so it's even more awkward. So even if you're not in a 200-person lecture hall, don't worry. I did it in, like, a 30-person classroom. You're fine. 
because everyone everyone gets nervous like that especially in the start but then you get so used to it you're like what the fuck it's fine um also with professors make good connections with them like if you find one that you have like a kind of a like you can kind of connect with them connect with them if you have like similar interests or like you're fascinated by things they do like if you find them to be an interesting person make those connections with them because they can help you later on um also another person to connect with is if you can connect with advisors i'm in one program so we have like there's a group of advisors that are just for us but i know like other people that aren't in the program they just get random advisors every fucking time but if you can connect with your advisors because they're so helpful and ask advisors questions because they're going to be who are helping you with your whole scheduling process and everything like that um go to the school events go to it i don't care if you have school spirit you don't have to be school spirited to get free shit like you're paying for this shit just to by going at the school get all the free shit you can whatever they're giving out take it they give out free food some days at my school they give out um they have like food trucks they'll have events with like booths the first day of school you had to see me i walked onto campus my arms were full um and i'm shoving shit in my bag because i was like free shit sounds good to me um also don't be afraid to be alone doing things either like it's of course it's fun to have friends and like do things with friends but there are going to be certain times when you're alone. You're going to be walking to classes a lot of times alone. You're not going to have... Unless you make friends in your classes, you're not going to have friends guaranteed in every single class. Like, you're not... It's not how it works. You have to make the friends. You're most likely... It's not like high school where you'll have friends that you have the exact same schedule with. Or very similar ones. Um... You also may be eating alone. Like, it's perfectly normal. I love going to the library, and then I hang out there. That's my favorite place to hang out. You're going to find a hangout spot. Find a hangout spot where you're comfortable. What the fuck is this? It's a giant-ass truck. Or is it a bus? Oh, my God. This man is bringing his bus here. Oh, is it a camper? It might be. Yeah, it's a camper. I thought it was a bus. I got very confused. Um... The first day, show up early to your classes. Um, Because otherwise, on your first day, wherever you fucking sit, that is your seat. And if you take someone else's seat the second day because you were late the first day, that's just so fucked up. Your first day, you're picking your seat. So wherever you plant your butt, that's where it's going to stay for the rest of the semester. So make sure you pick the right seat just go early you don't have to it doesn't have to be a perfect seat you're gonna be there for three months but if you can't see from the back make sure you get enough time to sit where you can or vice versa if you don't like sitting in the front make sure you have enough time that you'll sit in the back you have to pick your seat like it's not to be stressful but Show up on time. Show up a little early because everyone's showing up early because they all want a good seat. Um, then also, for school supplies, you do not need a binder. Um, honestly, the less physical things you have, the better. You really need either a tablet computer, um, if possible. You're, otherwise, you could just use the library one if you don't have access to get one. But you'll need then you'll just need a notebook and like pencils and a pen that's really it you don't need that much um use college as a time to find out what you like and dislike and also your major freshman year going in does not have to remain your major um but try to figure that out as soon as possible just because it's a lot easier for you to say say you're you go in 
as I'm gonna say a health science major if you get through to your junior senior year and then you decide you want to switch to fucking dance major there's gonna be a few things you're gonna have to do you're gonna have to change everything like it's two different degrees or if you want to be oh so say you're in a science major and you want to go to english major those are two different degrees you're getting either a bachelor's of science or you're getting a bachelor of arts so it's just gonna deter your graduation a little bit to try and figure that out in the beginning as soon as possible if you like oh i don't like it don't expect that shit to change either like if you don't like your major don't stay with it if you hate your major that is what's kind of deciding what your job is at a certain point like that's what you're studying don't stick with a major you fucking hate like college is up to you and you're not paying more for having a certain major as opposed to the other like of course you're gonna pay more if you go to grad school and stuff like that but like for your undergrad you're not going to be paying more for based on major so just keep that in mind like your major is not set in stone you can change it it's just a lot easier on you if you change it earlier um but anyways i think that's it for the list yeah that's it for the list that i have but also join clubs join programs get out do not sit by yourself and then complain the whole fucking time like your college decisions are up to you Oh, it's another teenage boy. That's why. I was like, what the fuck is this kid doing? Like, I literally thought it was a man. Like, a grown man. I was scared shitless. Anyways. But, yeah. Just, college is kind of what you make of it. Like, and don't have this idea that it has to be perfect. So, anyways, that was today's episode. Um, I love you guys. Don't stress out. College is just four years of your life. So is high school. It's just another four years. Like, you get through it, and it's more independent, so you got this. Um, I love you. Good luck with school, everyone. Um, kisses. I hope this helped. If you guys want more tips or anything, let me know. I feel like jet skiing. What the fuck is that? I'm just seeing two lights going, like, past me. Um, I love you. Kisses. See you next Thursday.